In this experiment, I'm gonna to prove to you that black ink is a mixture of colors. To do this, we need a piece of filter paper. Now this is special scientific filter paper. And what I did was I took these circles and I cut it into strips so that you have this. And I'm gonna take one strip is all I need. Now, if you don't have filter paper, you can also use paper towels. I'm gonna take the paper strip and I'm gonna make a black dot about an inch above the bottom. And I'm gonna make it really thick to really soak it into the paper. There, that's good. Okay, now for this step, we need a piece of tape and a pencil, um, the strip with the dot on it, and the cup that we're gonna do this in. So we wanna make sure that the paper just reaches the bottom and it can touch the bottom, but does not bend too much. And it looks like that's good. Now I'm gonna put a piece of tape across the top and it looks like this. So now we're just about ready to start. My, my, I need to bend it a little because the pencil wants to move it. Okay, that's perfect. So it should look like that. Now, the next step is we need to put about a pinky's width of water inside the cup, which is about that much. That's about a pinky's width. Final step is we're gonna put the paper so it just touches the water. And that's it. This is a time lapse of what happened over 20 minutes. This process is called ink chromatography. Notice how the entire ink dot has moved up the paper. So as you can see, black ink is actually a mixture of different colors. All these colors are inside this marker. Each company that makes a black marker has a different recipe for what chemicals they mix together to make their black. So the reason why this happened is the different colors of inks are attracted to the water and they moved up the paper, but they're also attracted to the paper or not attracted to the paper. And so the combination of how they're attracted to the water and how the inks are attracted to the paper is why they move different distances and in different locations on the paper. Many black inks are dissolvable in water. You can see with this Crayola marker, it says it's washable. So it comes out in water because water is a solvent for this ink. But there's another very common marker called a Sharpie. And it's a permanent marker, it says right here. And that means it won't wash out in water. But the, the real secret is, is there is a solvent that will wash Sharpie out and that's rubbing alcohol. So you can do the Sharpie with this uh, paper chromatography trick. You just need to use alcohol instead of water.